Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Wright Museum tonight. We are super honored to be presenting legendary trumpeter Earl Davis. Earl has performed with the likes of John Coltrane, Dizzy Gillespie, and we are honored today to have him on the stage at the Wright Museum. And tonight, he, we're happy to welcome him. He's a new Detroit resident. He's here from New York, and he's been in new Detroit about two years. And he is performing tonight with his band, the Brain Stretching Medicine Band. Getting a band together the way guys like myself that play this music is, is not an easy thing. And it just can't be anybody. It's got to be the right person. We all got to hear right. When we are not on the bandstand, we understand what, you know, ain't no bullshit with us. You know, I'm the, I'm the elder here. I just made 80, I'll be 81 in October, God, if God spare me. <laughs> so, uh, Junie Booth, he's in the bathroom. I met Junie about 50 years ago, he was 16. We both street guys. We met on the streets in Manhattan. And uh, uh, he worked with Art Blakey for years, McCoy Tyner, Betty Carter. Junie been around the block several times. Huh? Oh, okay. You kidding you and me? Yeah, I would say I'm sorry, but Junie, uh, Junie, we met on the streets in, in New York, uh, and then he ended up playing with Art Blakey, and, and we were in Sun Ra's band together for a while, and I'm 10 years older than Junie. Junie, where are you? <laughs> well, come on out here with the rest of us. Man, this packed audience out here, man. These people are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. anyway, I had these two cats, and Jalo is like a brother to me, and uh, we both bonded. So uh, yeah, I'm picky about people I have around me, and I'm sure they should be that way too. But uh, these are some of the people I picked to be in my world and let me be in their world. Uh, and uh, this young man here, I met him in Northern Lights, hanging out. I don't hang out too much when you get my age. You don't go out to jam sessions and do it. I mean, that's everybody else has been to. The, been there, did that as a kid with the baddest of the baddest that played this music. So me to go out to a session is really kind of strange. It's just, anyway, I just love these guys. And uh, the way this came together was amazing. I, I, Jeribu ja, 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 was, was working with me on the first gig I had here last December at Trina So. And then I got this gig. Uh, so he said, well, I got a gig in Europe and make more bread. Okay, cool, blah, blah. So I, I never trip and I said, well, I don't know too many bass players here that I could call and, and they would be cool with me. So I said, well, let me call my brother. And he's in Buffalo. So I told him, I take care of the expense, bring him here, you know, look out for him. Cooked him steaks and the eggs for breakfast this morning. And tea and, oh yeah. <laughs> and paying him extra money to come here and help me, You're right. So anyway, it was good, good to uh, do this. So we didn't have a chance to rehearse too much, but anyway, we're gonna do it. We're gonna start off with a, Oh, the piano player, Jellic. Oh, Michael Angelic. That's what I call him. Michael Angelic. He's like an angel, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and then Jallo, everybody knows Jallo, so he's a, De a real Detroiter. Oh, man, I think the, all three of these guys are Detroiters. Mike, are you a Detroiter? Well, everybody here is a Detroiter. And, and I'm an outsider, but I feel like a Detroiter. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was here once before from 60 to 62. I was on my way to LA with a bass player. We were driving cross country, and I stopped here, and I met this beautiful dark chocolate sister. Oh, man, she just was, uh, tripped me out. I stayed here for two years with her, and then she went in the military 
And I said, okay, later. I went to L.A. <laughs> but I haven't been to live here since then. So anyway, it's good to be back. And it's kind of like a sister city to where I'm, where I'm originally from, Houston. Because Houston is uh, not like Detroit. It's, you know, pretty much predominantly dark chocolate, brown, beige, and black, whatever. And uh, uh, it was very similar. I had relatives I heard the elders spoke of that had left Houston in the 20s, came up to Detroit, very successful, and had beautiful families, and, you know. <clears throat> but I never had any idea I'd be here at 80. You know, uh, I, was, I was pretty much in New York, San Francisco. But, uh, New York's still my lab. I use it for creative juices. Anyway, let's, let's get on with a song I wrote for one of my favorite mentors, Mr. Thelonious Monk, and it's called Monk Like. I'll try, I'll sing the lyrics too for you, but we'll play it first and hope you enjoy it. Okay. I gotta sit in this chair because my back, I got a bad back. I worked, I worked as a carpenter for 40 years, I never stopped playing this baby here. So, you know, here we go. Thank you. 
he's up there in the sky. Yes, he's gone, but he'll roll him in monkey song. Turn the mic up. A monk left town and he didn't say bye. All the cats was getting high. Now he's up there in the sky. Yes, he's gone, but he'll roll him in monkey song. The Lonnie's real monk will live as long as song. He definitely had it right when everyone else was wrong. A monk left town and he didn't say bye. All the cats was getting high. Now he's up there in the sky. Yes, he's gone, but he'll wrote him a funky song. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do every time you hear this you won't forget.
So every time you hear it, you won't forget whatever you are doing at this moment in time will happen again <laughs> at another time and place. Anyway, enough of my philosophy. We're going to take a short break for 15 minutes and we'll be right black. Thank you for the Detroit Brain Stretching Medicine Band. Yeah. I hope you like my title. It, it does have purpose and, and an intention, a special intention on stretching one's brain. I do it all the time. We'll be right back. Another round of applause for Earl Davis. Your new, arrival, your new arrival in Detroit. My brother, my brother from the University of the Streets of America. <laughs> I must honor this young man, Mike Angelic. His real name Mike Jellic, but I call him Angelic. Us, us angels tend to know one another. Anyway, we want to, hey Mike, yeah. We want you to talk to these people personally by yourself on the piano. Okay? Cool. Remember, this is brain stretching. This is not that other J word. And I'm not Negro anymore either. <laughs> I'm an I'm a Afro Asian asteroid Universal Polynesian spaceman. <laughs> Afro Asian asteroid Universal Polynesian spaceman. Hey, all right, enough of my nonsense. <laughs>
Yeah, Mike Jelly. Mike Jelly. Another Detroit pro product. Yeah. It's great being here with all you cool people. Yeah, because uh, I'm one of the original students from the School of Cool. One of the first graduates. Junior and me. I'm a, I'm a generation ahead of him. <laughs> It ain't easy being cool, especially nowadays. Okay, here's a song I, I wrote for my daughter. She said, passed on to the other world. Her name was Niami, N-Y-A-M-E, Niami, Niami, you know, however you want to spell it. It's musical. But anyway, Johnny, count this off for us. And 16, 16 up front with the lily. Okay?
Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, now we're going to stretch your mind. This is a song I wrote called Mama Said. Oh, no, just a little melody. It's got a little hook on it. It's easy, easy to play on. You can talk a whole lot of smack on it. I call it uh, the power of your mind. We all have a mind, I hope. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, yeah, said it give us a 16 bar vamp up front, kind of get a, a nice, happy, jolly feeling, and you know. This is, this is some happy stuff, because this is, you know, I'm all over the place. This has to do with just being happy, okay, and, and thoughtful, okay. Junior, you know what tempo we did there? Right, right bounce. Right bounce. Right bounce. Right bounce. I'm bright bark. <laughs> okay.
all your worries behind. No matter how blue it may seem, it's up to you to change it around. Don't sit around just to complain. Make yourself part of the change. When you realize you found something out here for you, and you can find out how you can get it if you use the power of your mind. Yeah, that was like in the 70s, you know, crazy stuff was going on and that was appropriate for that time. It seems it's still appropriate for this time, too. Shame to say that, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. But we're going to be who we're going to be and do what we got to do.
Okay. Next time you see me, I hope my chops is better. But anyway, these are 80 year old lips I'm playing with. So sometimes it's right and sometimes it's almost right. Anyway, we just gonna keep doing it. I have no other choice. It would be a bore on this planet with all you folks. So I couldn't do this. Anyway, I love you and, and we all love you. And how about a special round of applause for my friend, Junie Booth, my brother, the brother, one of the brothers from the University of the Streets of America. Yes. He has two, P, two more PhDs more than me from the university. And uh, anyway, we all good. And we love you. Like I say, thanks for coming out. And Mr. Mike Angelic, a special, a special round of applause for Mike. It's my first time playing. My first time playing with him. When I met this cat, I said, hey, man, we'll, we'll get together one day. You know, it's about two years ago. And as it turns out, Miss Betty Alexander, I must say, was... Uh, supposed to be on the gig and something came up she couldn't make it so I said, uh, uh, Jallo he says man call Mike I said cool and he says oh yeah man I'll do it I said wow thanks buddy <laughs> so anyway everything works out for the best and I just would like to say we all would like to give uh, our warmest uh, send away for the beautiful sister Miss Rita Franklin I love Rita, Rita of, oh man, she's, she's the bomb. I always say she's an extension of M the great Mahalia Jackson. Yes. Yeah, she took over where Mahalia left off, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look here, I'm from the block. I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Take a picture of us and then give us all $10 a piece <laughs> for the picture. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. It's the brain stretching Detroit brain stretching medicine band. Uh, you're a witness to history. <laughs> I hope we I hope we stretch it a little bit while we're here. <laughs> okay. Bow.